This is a CSS grid example created by Rachel Andrew and it uses track names to position elements and auto rows to let the browser create as many grid rows as needed. And here in PineGrow grid editor we can see that auto rows has a value and if we change this the size of all the rows created that were created automatically will change and here we have none and that tells PineGrow not to define the row template but simply to rely on automatic rows and only define the column template we can see it here grid template columns with these track names and here we can see why it makes sense to name to use track names because it's easier to position the elements especially when it comes to making designs responsive we can see like here grid all children of the grid this is the, the rule they stretch from main start to main end and then we have full width elements those are grid children with the class full they stretch from full start to full end okay and now let's create a responsive design let's take a small screen we will adjust the grid to fit the small screen and to do that we will duplicate the grid rule and then we will use a media query and we will say this rule should target all device sizes smaller than 992 pixels open the grid editor here we can see that the CSS rule with the media query is selected so now let's go ahead and simplify the grid. We can make a simple one column um, grid. So we delete everything here. Just use one fraction. And then we give multiple names to this track. So this one is full start. And full start can also be main start. And full end can also be main end and in this way on small screen our grid all items in our grid stretch full width and on larger screens we have content contained in the middle and full width items stretching out we didn't change the placement of individual elements we simply created a second grid definition targeted with media query and we used multiple names for the same lines to create this responsive effect.